Hey guys, welcome back to Eric Reactions with more Octopath Traveler. So I actually ran into something, a really bad, big setback. Uh, I overwrote my save file. So uh, I had a, my first save file was like 30 something hours in and this one was like 12 hours in. And I started a new game just like in my off time and I accidentally saved over the first one. So I used the second file which had around 12 hours and uh, started and I rushed through as much as I could uh, to get back to here. So yeah, we finished everything. Everything's back to normal. Uh, the only chapter 3 we have left is Primrose again. Um, but we're much lower level than we were before, so everybody instead of being Primrose level 51 and everybody else being like 40s, everybody's at least 7... everyone's around 7 levels lower. So uh, it'll be interesting. Uh, hopefully we can still be okay. Maybe, if not, we'll just grind a little. Uh, but yeah, let's start... Primrose's chapter. Whew. Yeah, I spent like nine hours yesterday just getting back here. Cause the twelve hour part I was um I was in like early chapter two. Heeding the words of the dying crow, you have come home to Noble Court, where you hope to find the truth that has eluded you for so long. Alright, I wonder if we'll find another crow person or if this is just a just the background on her, and then we'll fight two of them in the finale. The story so far, in the town of Still Snow, Promos got her first taste of revenge. There she struck down the left wing of the crow, driving the dagger engraved with her family's words into, her, into his breast. Faith shall be your shield. The words had served her well. Now two remain, the man with the mark on his right arm and the foulest bird of all with the mark on his neck. Go home to Noble Court, she was told. There you'll find the truth you seek. But will this truth bring her peace or further pain? So after too many years, Primrose comes home. I wonder what the truth is. If maybe her father was into something shady? How long has it been? Uh, well, we were here for somebody else's chapter not too long ago. I think it was Theory Ethereum? No, I don't know. Anyway, when I left this place, I thought I would never return to this. Okay. The crow said I would find the truth here. But what truth was he speaking of? Two more men bearing the mark of that foul bird. Hmm. My search continues here. Oh, is she being recognized? Look, that young lady! Is that not Lady Primrose? She is being recognized. Oof. No. You're seeing things, friend. House Azelheart is nothing but a memory now. No, I'm still here. Mm -hmm. Right, of course. No need to drag up old ghosts, there's plenty enough going on in the present. Just look. Oh? What are they looking at? Guess we'll find out soon. What's happening over there? Okay, so my biggest concern... I love Primrose so much. My biggest concern is that she's going to go the way of Earhart and get the revenge and then feel empty and not sh just feel empty and regret and sadness over it. So hopefully... Oh, sorry, spoilers for Holberg, Holberg Chapter 3, if you haven't done that already. Uh, darling, please, open your eyes. No, say it's not so. Mm -hmm. Cry and shame that, and just as his business was starting to take off. Just so. He died? I thought he was just, like, fainting. Rumor has it, he voiced his displeasure with his lordship a bit too loudly if you catch my drift. Oh. That's why I keep my mouth shut, lest I end up dead on the street like that poor sod. But aren't you talking about it right now? Okay. What? A murder in Noble Court of all places? Well, I mean, it's not the first time, because it's your dad. What? When I was young, father in the city watch saw that hardly a crime was committed here. What has become of this place since I left? Nope. Oh, they're under the control of another house, isn't? Aren't they? <clears throat> Move out of the way, you slack-jawed fools! Oh, come on. We're here by express order of his lordship to inspect the scene. Oh, boy. Now clear out lest we toss you in the gal for impeding the investigation. I think maybe one of the crows uh, seized power here. How can that... The right-hand guy. Right-hand crow person. The lord's own guardsmen are investigating the crime. Where's the city watch? Oh boy. What's going on, going on with that guy? Hey. 
I know that man. He was one of Father's trusted friends. Revelo Forsyth, Lieutenant Commander of the City Watch. At least, he used to be. So he was spared the wrath of the crows, at least. Man, her story is sad. Oh, here we go. Looks like crow number two is this guy. This guy. A raven from still snow, for sir. I fear the tidings are ill. Rufus has been murdered. Rufus has been murdered. Oh. So the left wing has been clipped. And you're next. It was the Azelheart girl that did the deed, you say? So she still lives, after all. Guess we'll just have to do something about that. <laughs> Mark my words, the Azelhard line ends here. So he is in charge of the city. Uh, why is why is Noble Court important? Why not conquer Could another city? Be? Lady Primrose? Is it truly you, Lady Primrose? Impossible. I know that voice. Impossible? Who that? From a lifetime ago. Don't know if you can trust this guy yet, though. Primrose. Do mine eyes see true? You have grown lovelier than I ever could have dreamed, Lady Primrose. Simeon. Simeon. Where have you been all these years? Hmm. Not here, that's for certain. What? That's not an answer. You know I always wanted to run as fast and as far as I could from this stuffy old town. Hmm. Huh. So I set on a journey across the realm. Does he know? And yet, no matter how far I traveled, I could not escape the pain of losing you. Whoa. They were close then, very close. Of course. These days I make a living as a playwright of sorts. I pen dramas and tragedies for the stage. <laughs> you always did have a way with words, but when they were young? Because her father died when she was like a kid, I think. Or like maybe early teens? I don't know. So he left earlier than that. I swore I'd never return to this place. Then one day, I felt an odd yearning. <laughs> and no sooner do I arrive than I am than I am reunited with you. Fate is a mysterious thing, is it not? Wow, and she hasn't been back in a long time either. What if he's the messenger? Oh, that would be horrible. But enough about me. Where have you been all these years, my love? He doesn't know, does he? Does he? What do I even tell him? There's not a thing I can say without slowing his memories of me forever. Oh boy. I'm sorry. My apologies, that was too forward of me. You needn't say a thing. Besides, I can imagine all too well without hearing a word. Life has not been kind to you, and though you have grown all the more beautiful through the hardships you no doubt suffered. Beauty does not come from pain, dude. It still pains me that you had to suffer them. Beauty does not come from pain. Simeon's gentle words stirred something in Primrose, a feeling that she had not felt in many years. For the first time in what seemed like forever, she felt somewhere deep in her heart a measure of peace. Ah. He is too kind to me. He always was. Oh, city, go city watch. City I'm no, this the guards. The yeah. Oi, what are you two doing loitering about? Uh, looks like a spot of trouble I'd just as soon avoid. Come, my lady, let's find somewhere we can chat in private. It's... Uh. Whoa. Should he just grab her? A little too handsy. Wait, this is somewhere private? Seeing you again, it brings back so many memories. Memories of my childhood days in this town. I could never understand why my father was so strict with me. I was always running off to the gardens for a good cry. Wait, they look too old here. And that was where I would find you. 
and find an excuse to shirk my duties as gardener's apprentice. <laughs> How old is this guy? He seems like he's already an adult at this point. Couldn't help but be drawn to one another. Oh wow. Like the bees, drawn to the nectar of the fragrant. Yeah, that's definitely some sort of lust or love. The bees analogies makes it seem like lust. You were always penning poems for me. Your words, your songs. Gave me comfort and solace hmm. in the darkest days after I lost father. Oh, what? You would sing them for me. Oh. I thought she left right away. I didn't know that. Okay. Wow. Wait, so he left her? To tell the truth, Primrose, I left this town to oh. search for Oh. She left first. And he left after her to find her. She was in sunshade all this time. <laughs> I tried so many times to forget you. To accept that you were gone. Yet time and again I found myself reciting the poems I had written you. Oh, man. Can you forgive me, Primrose? <coughs> For what? There is nothing to forgive. It was all so very what, what, what was so long ago? I've moved on from those days. I have found my own reason to go on. What is he asking for forgiveness for? What did he do? Oh, my throat, what the heck? Wax is full and bright in dark heaven, and stars <coughs> glitter worlds away from earthly sorrow. Would that sleep hold you in her soft embrace? Then shall my eyes close. Lips open in prayer, for it is only in dreams that we may meet again. Simi. <coughs> Lady Primrose, I intend to remain in town for some time yet. I still have not forgiven myself. Knowing that I could not do more for you, it tortures me to this day. If there is any way, any way at all, in which I can be of service to you, my lady, you need only say the word. <coughs> Thank you, sir. Is he part of the truth that Rufus was talking about? What if he said... Is, what if he set her father up to die? My oh man, my throat just died all of a sudden. <clears throat> Sorry guys. Whew. Enough distractions. I must find the man marked by the crow. But where to begin? She doesn't even know they're here though. <clears throat> What if... Oh, Travel Lantern! So... Who's the simian guy? Well, was he someone really special to you? Dot dot dot. Tressa, have you ever felt a special kinship to someone? Special kinship? You mean, like, aside from my family? I guess I never really thought about it. Trading's been my life since before I can remember. Kind of feel connection with my customers when we make a good deal. Is that the same thing? Let me tell you something, Tressa. When something about a person resonates deep within you, it's the most wonderful feeling. Your heart is freed, your mind is opened, and you realize there's more to the world than you ever knew. I wouldn't expect you to understand. After all, you're still a little girl. Hey, who are you calling little? That's cute. That was really cute. <clears throat> Alright. Time to find... The Crow Man. Farewell. Oh, this was the guard, or the city watch captain. 
L Lady Primrose? What? Was this all my eyes to be believed? How could this... My lady, are you Jeffries? <laughs> it has been too long, Master Forsyth. Lady Primrose? Too long indeed. We all knew you would grow to be a great beauty, but even still... I feel as though I'm standing before a vision from the heavens. It brings me great joy to know you are well, my good lady Primrose. As it does me to see you hale and hearty, Master Forsyth. Thank the gods. Age has stooped my back and blurred my eyes, but just seeing you before me, I thank the gods for blessing me with a long life. Long life? He doesn't look that old. He looks like mid 40s, maybe? You flatter me over much, my good sir. I was just paying Jeffrey a visit, as I do from time to time. You should do the same, Lady Primrose. Let your father bask in your beauty as well. I think my accent changed for him. Yeah. No. Not until they're dead. I cannot face father, not yet. Before that, there is something I must do. I am sorry to hear it, my lady. But where have you kept yourself all these years? There are many here who have been more happy to take you in. The truth I've been on a journey of sorts. If you must know the truth. Is she telling him everything? I'm sorry. F forgive me. I had no idea you suffered through such dark days. You did well to endure and return to us, Lady Primrose. Actually... I endured, I endured only because I must. I must learn the truth behind father's death and have my revenge upon the bastards who took him from me. Master Forsyth, is there nothing you can tell me? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Music died. What's happening? What's happening? There was a time when I, too, spared no effort in trying to unravel the secrets behind Lord Jeffrey's murder. But in the end, I left. I was left wishing I never had. Oh boy. My lady, I urge you to tread lightly. This business will be the death of you if you do not wash your back. I am ready for whatever may come. Hmm. Hmm. I know what I must do. Very well. Come with me, and I will tell you what I know. Interesting, we're meeting a lot of side characters. Primrose's story. Oh. I'm back, Anna. Oh? I was wondering what was keeping you, dear. Pray tell, who's this beauty you've brought home brought with you? Oh, she's don't be don't be jealous. It's Primrose. It's not possible. Lady Primrose? My, but I never and so beautiful a woman grown. Pinch me, my dear, I must be dreaming. Okay, pinch. I thought the same myself. Now, what say we share a cup of tea? Oh boy. And so from that dark day onward, the balance of power here in Noble Court shifted, and shifted dramatically. Well, there was a power vacuum, so what did you expect? That's not news. Under Lord Jeffrey's stewardship, House Azelhard was the most prominent of all the great families. Working closely with the City Watch, he took it upon himself to uphold the peace and keep people happy. <clears throat> Crime of any sort was nigh unheard of. Nigh unheard of. Oh, what happy days those were. Though those with the want to do ill deeds might have found it a bit stifling. But it matters little. Those times of peace and security are all but a dream now. In the chaos and disorder that followed the fall of the House Azelhart, a group of men seized power. The Crows. They call themselves the Obsidians. <clears throat> Gasp. They began their operation peddling illicit tinctures back when your father still lived. Working in the shadows just out of sight of Jeffrey's watchful eye, they made one shady deal after the next, while not filling their coffers and making powerful friends with the other families. Yee. 
Swayed by the influence of their coin, countless once lawful men cast their lot with these villains, and the ones that didn't... Captain Albus commanded the city watch in those days. Maybe you remember him? He was Lord Jeffrey's right hand, and the most just and honorable man I've been privileged to know. Unfortunately, his code of honor put him at odds with the Obsidians, and so they took action. Murdered like my father. And then... Absent his leadership, the city collapsed. City Watch collapsed, and the Sid Obsidian seized power with the greatest of ease. I spent years trying to follow the trail of corruption, to find out who, led, who it led to, where the blood money flowed. In the end, I found that I was up against an opponent too evil. I faced innumerable threats to my own life. Two of my cohorts from the Watch, who worked tirelessly to help me track down the truth, were murdered in cold blood. Honor and justice are long dead here, never to return. I am an old man now, and I grow weary of this battle. I am but a minor landowner with no influence of which to speak. All I can do is bring flowers to Jeffrey's grave. Lady Primrose? There is nothing more I can do for him, or for you. And so I beg of you, Lady Primrose, leave this place. Trust me, lady. Were your father here, he would say the same. Whew. They're asking her to choose her own happiness, her and him, and... I guess his father, her father would too. Choose your own happiness, go somewhere with Simeon, somewhere far away, and... Forget about this revenge. Just be happy. And I see... I see the draw of that, but I also understand that she, she can't let this go. I beg to differ, Master Forsyth. Were my father here, this is what he would say. Thing. Shall be your shield. Okay, I think, I think she's right. That is what he would say. Mayhap you are right. Mayhap I have only twisted my memories of Jeffrey to ease my own regret and my own cowardice. Forgive me, my lady. I do you a dishonor. Oh, wow. Now then. I know where the Obsidians make their headquarters in town. I will take you there. At least we have a group of friends to help us. <clears throat> Lady Primrose. I will wait for you here, my lady. Pray tell me whenever you are ready to depart. Oh, wow. Okay. Can we steal from them? Nope. It looks like we can't do anything. Who is this with? Ulbrich. Honor. Tell me, Ulbrich, what does honor mean to you? A simple question, but one with, an easy a with no easy answer. For me, it is using my blade to protect others. There is naught else I can offer. Sometimes I think you're too humble for your own good. No matter how lofty our aspirations, in the end, we can only do what we are capable of. Better than to make ourselves the best that we can be, the dream, than dream in vain of saintliness. Well said. That's what I'm trying to do, improve myself so I can do more. Especially since I met you, you're a true inspiration, you know. You guys, I hope I'm not blushing again. Aww. That was cute. Can't steal from you either. Alright, let's go. I'm ready, I think. Uh, did I equip everything? Everybody? I did. Alright. I think we're good to go. Alright. We might be underleveled, but... We'll be able to get to the boss, at least. And then, if I need to, I'll grind. This is the Den of the Obsidians. Oh. You have my gratitude, Master Forsyth. I cannot guarantee your safety should you choose to go forward, my lady. I owe you a debt. Nor would I ask you to. Lady Primrose? Hey, Lady Primrose. You mean to avenge Jeffrey's death, do you not? I'll do what I must. It has been my sole reason for living all these years. Mm -hmm. Very well. In that case, Lady Primrose... Pray allow this old man to accompany you. Oh. 
There was a time when I, too, vowed I would see justice served. For so long, I had abandoned hope and lost my way. But re reuniting with you, it has lit the path before I... Didn't read that before I pressed the button for things. I realize now that for all I have learned over the years, I still know nothing of true bravery. So then... Master Foresight. I beg of you. If your faith will be your shield, Lady Primrose, let me be the sword at your side. Oh. Can we allure him? And actually summon him? That'd be nice. Otherwise, this will be the only chapter where you don't use path actions, I think. Sir. The Lady Azelheart comes calling. Oh, does she now? How thoughtful of her to save me the trouble of hunting her down myself. It's all playing out as just just as the boss said. Which reminds me. Wasn't he supposed to be joining us? Yeah! On that matter, sir, I'm afraid there's been a slight change of plans. He left a message. It appears there are some preparations he would see to first. <laughs> That's our boss. He's always had a flair for the dramatic. Sir? No doubt he's preparing a welcome party of his own. My Lady Hazelheart, tis a pity you'll not live to see it. He's got an eye patch. Snake Fury! For the right wing will snuff the life out of you right here. How are you so sure? Are you that much stronger than the left? Left, what the left, uh, what's it called? The left wing? Huh. Okay, I was hoping I would be able to allure him, but that's not the case. I don't have anybody to summon at all. Let's take our time and get through this. Oh. New enemies in the back. I don't know what they're weak against, but let's guess wind. Okay. They're probably weak against some bows, too, actually. Most flying enemies are, <clears throat> it seems like. Ow. Why are they all faster than me? Uh, what did I want to try? I guess we could try this. Didn't think so. Let's try the bows. Legend my arrow fly and true. Legend my arrow fly and true. Break this guy. Oh, they're dying. Actually, Primrose, can you? I don't want to kill him just yet. Let me do a lesser. Don't don't kill the guys in the back. Wait, I was gonna analyze them first. Oh, I feel dumb. All right. I don't know what I was thinking. <clears throat> Collect. Money, 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 money. Only 564. I'm ready. Finish this fool. 4,000 damage. The Almost 5,000. Oh yeah, so what's making her so strong right now is that I stole this. Elemental Augmenter. I think I stole it from a guy in the lower quarter in Stone Guard. And a Elemental Attack plus 100. It's pretty insane. Plus, I got the Wizard's Rod instead of the Forbidden Rod. This is in um, Gold Shore, near the church. A woman in front of the church has it. You can buy it from her. It's actually cheaper than the Forbidden Rod. Forbidden Staff. Alright, let's go. Oh, yeah. 5k. That seems a little... Oh. Is that the save point to the... It's not the end of the dungeon already. It can't be. What next? Oh, they, they are weak against. We just missed this person. That sucks. Oh, don't Nice. Oh, maybe he's not weak against bows. Victory shall be mine. Let's thousand speed. 
Why are you missing so much? <clears throat> My turn now. Can I break you somehow, please? Uh, let's try daggers. Okay, maybe they just have high evasion. Ow. Dang, that guy has very high evasion. Really just like dodging everything. There we go. <clears throat> Alright, what do I do here? Alright, I'm finished this. Thunder. The show is over. Oof, good amount of experience. More than 500. I could do some pretty good grinding here. Uh, let's go downstairs first and check it out. Oh no, this is blocked off. Is this... Where is this? Oh, it's just uh, the main entrance. Is there nothing back here? Dang it. <clears throat> Ugh, what is that? It's disgusting. Analyzing Icky Slug. That's an apt name. Um, no, why are you blinding me? I was gonna use Arrow Storm too, and now I'm blinded. That's not good. Victory shall be mine. What ice? You weak against ice? Alright, I'm gonna use this anyway and hope I hit. At least twice. Nice job hitting when you were blinded. B should still hit. No, why you pounce? Dang it. <clears throat> Finish him. Nice. Alright. Let's see his other weakness. Light. Okay. Huh. Nobody else has daggers, though. I guess I'm abiding. Nothing else I can do. Really. Alright, I can break him with this. How much SP does she have? Alright, let's do this. <clears throat> it missed. Dang it. Dang it. That's annoying. Alright. No, 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 wrong thing. Wrong. I meant to heal. Alright, alright. That, that was bad. Thank you. Thank you, Primrose, for the patience. There we go. He's so serious about it. You shall be healed. We can do this again. That forbidden dagger is strong. Let's finish this. The show is over. All right, leveling up pretty quickly. Is there really nothing back here? I came down the stairs for nothing really. All right, this is not the end. That much I know. So let's keep going. I'll save just in case. How do I get downstairs though? You know what? I don't think I have it. Oh, I do have evasive maneuvers equipped. I just need to double check that downstairs because there's a chest there that I want to get. <clears throat> That's a little this this that this um this battle is not as easy as the last one. I know these guys because they're they show up quite often. Yikes! That was yikes. That was a very strong attack for uh, a normal enemy. You know what? Pirate health. 
Uh... This will hit everybody. Oh no, this is swords, not daggers. This is daggers. 2500. Let's do it. Nice, perfect, perfect. Break him. Yeah. Oops. Why didn't you sweep to do it damage to everybody? Finish this. <clears throat> She's on a warpath right now. <clears throat> so why did he follow us? Is it really because he wants... to help? Oh! This... I didn't realize you could go through this. Cool. I thought it was a wall. Inspiriting Plum Basket. <clears throat> okay, it actually feels like uh, battles are still coming a little too often. I think... I'm gonna run for bits. I have the forbidden bow equipped. Is that the issue? Oh, actually, yeah. I don't have all the forbidden weapons. Is another thing because I don't have all. The, I don't have enough money to do that. Or I didn't have enough money. I might have enough now. All right. Let me get the. Oh, there's a. There was a rug, so it clearly showed that I could go through. All right. Now we can avoid enemies a little bit more. Maybe we'll grind. Alright, we can go upstairs. Okay, let's do that first. Nothing here. Running. No! Oh man, they get to attack another four times in a row. Next turn. Now, horrific claw, attack, horrific claw, blinding mist, oh boy, bye, please don't fail again, thank you. Alright, how do we get that chest, oh, just straight down here. Alright, we see the save points. No purple chest so far. I jinxed it just now, didn't I? Is it right here? No, no, this room is empty, it seems? Huh, no purple chest. Oh, wait. Okay, that's just no chest. Standest thou against me? Then be hunted. She's so cool. Alright, we'll do this battle. Kinda wanna find out their other weaknesses. <clears throat> Running slash? Oh wow. Alright, what do I do? Start it. You know what? Abide! <gasps> it's too funny. I don't know their other weaknesses though. What do we? What else did we try? These are constituents. Them and their freaking high evasion. Very nice. Still under leveled, but we could be fine. Uh, let me. We're gonna heal everybody up first. Let's see. Let's have her do it. And then give her a medium. I don't think. I think that's enough SP. Eh, let's give her another one. 10 away and 19 away. It's not a big deal. Primrose will never run out of SP because she has she gains 11 every turn. It's 
so powerful. All right, so I still haven't learned any of the divine skills. I don't know if I should even. Uh, let me re-equip the bit. Um, what's it called? The show goes on. That's important. It would make learning Alfin's uh, seduct enlightenment actually viable because it would last for four turns. Hmm. Yeah, let's do it. I would cast be casting it on myself. And I did learn Pran's Thunder, which is very important too. I don't know if I wanted to learn any more of these. Maybe Rehabilitate? Hail and Hardy. I don't know if I need Hail and Hardy. Yes, I wanted to get Drafendi's Rage. And Bilfigan's, Bilfigan's Bounty. We can make some money off of that. Alright. And I think we're good. I think that's all we need to do. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to stop the video here. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and share. And uh, yeah, oh, no, I did get the treasure chest on the bottom. Okay. Yeah, I'm really enjoying Primrose's story, so hopefully it wraps up in a way that's really... This chapter wraps up in a way that's really satisfying. Uh, I just want to see her be a little happier, you know? I hope, I hope Simeon didn't betray her. I hope nobody betrays her. That's the biggest thing. For good story writing, it might, they might, but I'm just, like, I just want her to not feel that sting of betrayal. That would suck too much. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye, friends.